What is up, guys? It is Spooky Noodles, and we are here with a book review. This is for Halloween Land by Kevin J. Kennedy. So, uh, like I said before, when the video got interrupted by Lula Barking, um, this book comes in at 171 pages, but it is a novella. And you be you may be like, hey, Nick, how is a book that's 170-something pages a novella? Well, I'll show you. <laughs> it has to do with the formatting, which... You know, I'm not kind of I'm not really a big fan of these type of formatted books, but it's like double space size thirteen fourteen writing, and uh, yeah, it's it, it's it's not usual. So I I read the uh, the ebook edition. I just wanted to buy the book to support the author. So uh, yeah, and if this one this book sounds like I didn't like it, that's I'm sorry that that's how it's coming off. Um. I did enjoy my time reading it, but uh, yeah, there's things I need to talk about it. So anyways, I'm going to read the synopsis and then we will delve into the book a little bit. Or, well, I'll read my review as well and then we'll delve into the book a little bit. So here we go. And this is a long one, by the way. Here we go. Uh, an action-packed coming-of-age horror tale full of twists, turns, and unexpected adventures. Zack and Wendy are a couple of horror buffs which I don't really know if they were because I didn't hear a single horror movie reference, really. There might have been one or two, but... <sighs> Anyways, who love Halloween. In their sleepy, run-down little town, an exciting attraction promises to inject uh, some life into the place for one special night only, a traveling carnival making its debut on Halloween. Anticipation builds, and the mysterious Halloween Land Carnival is the talk of the town, the Calliope music, I think that's how it said, bright lights and sweet and savory smells from pop-up carnival lure in the crowds flocking to the pier. The two teenage friends, Zach and Wendy, are eager to be amongst the first. Revelations unfold, mysterious peak, myster mysteries peak from the outer limits. The kids have to think and act to defeat the evil that's come to their town. And it's nothing like the movies. It's nothing like in the movies. This tale is full of mystery, fun, magic, tension, and dread. Step up for the ride. Give your ticket to the clown. She'll show you a good time. No one can say where you will end up, but it'll be a wicked ride. So that is the synopsis for Halloween Land by Kevin J. Kennedy. So I'm going to set the book down and then switch hands with the... Oh, my arm. Switch hands for the camera. Um, so... Um, I don't know. Let me read the review, and then I'll talk a little bit about it. So here we go. This was a solid read for me. It did seem a bit rushed. Oh my gosh. Hold on one second. Okay, take four. Uh, maybe this time Lula won't bark. Um, we are now doing my review of the book, so here we go. This was a solid read for me. It did seem a bit rushed, like maybe this was the author's first draft, and there were awkward sentences here and there, but the story itself was pretty good. I wish we spent some more time with the two main characters and learned more about the clown. Heck, I would have liked to figure out more about the psychic lady. I feel like it was rushed though, and that was a bummer. Overall, I'm giving this one three stars. And yeah, I I was a little because I I don't I did not want, I got this book for free initially, and then I went and to support the author I went and bought the book, um, I just uh, yeah I really lot wanted to like this one because it's a coming of age story and um, Lula's about to bark, I don't know why she's crazy, but um, uh, I think we're done barking now. Oh boy, this is hard. So I read the synopsis. I don't know where I was, what I, where I was with my, uh, with what I was saying. Uh, I really wanted to like this one. There, um, I, I really wanted to like this one. It was a coming of age story, and I just, I just wish we had more time with the characters. I want to know more about the clown. 
I wanted to know more about the psychic lady. I mean, you see the psychic lady like once and she's supposed to be a, this big deal, but then all of a sudden we just, she just gone from the story. I, this, I, I don't want to complain too much. Um, I did enjoy the story overall. Um, it was, it was fun. Um, I don't know what it had to do with Halloween really other than it took place on Halloween and there were some creatures with pumpkin heads, but I really didn't get any Halloween vibes from this, like, at all. I really didn't. I wasn't, I wasn't in the atmosphere of the book at all. I don't know if that was because of me or what, but I just, I, it was hard getting into this book. Um, but when I was going, it was going okay. You know, there was action scenes going on and stuff. But overall, I, I was just kind of underwhelmed by this book. I, I apologize to the author. I really appreciate the free copy. And I went out and bought the book to support him. And I'm going to put this on my coming-of-age shelf since I love coming-of-age stories so much. But yeah, this one's a three-star for me. Um, It doesn't mean it's bad and you won't like it, but um, I just had a little bit of... Yeah, I just feel like it was rushed and maybe... A, it it seemed, felt like a first draft of a story. And that's not bad, you know. I just... Maybe the author needed to take more time to really sponge out the character work. You know what I'm saying? Um really tell us like they're horror movie buffs right well let's hear some movie quotes or references or because they didn't seem like horror but they just seem like random kids i don't i i don't know what else to say uh this just wasn't really for me i guess even though it's a coming of age story or maybe it is for me but it just didn't cap, cap uh what's the word I don't know, in cap, uh, I can't think of the word. <laughs> Anyways, um, I didn't really like this one that much. Um, I am giving it three stars, though. I can see the author is a good storyteller, but he's got a little ways to go, just like I have a little ways to go. Um, we all got to start somewhere, and I, I really like this book, but at the same time, I do have a lot of like nitpicks you know and um i'm not gonna say every nitpick i have but uh i basically told you the main reason why i don't like or not that i didn't like this book but the reasons why i was bummed out by this book so yeah i just i wish she took more time to maybe talk about the relationship of the two kids it seemed very rushed in every single a aspect it just seemed rushed and it's, I'm so bummed I have to make this review, but, um, because I don't think this guy's a bad guy at all. I just, this one missed for me, you know? Um, but yeah, if you've read Halloween Land by Kevin J. Kennedy, let me know in the comments. Uh, it was really fun making the thumbnail for this one. Uh, I used a new app that I have on my phone and it's been a dream. It's been so much fun to use. Uh, it's like a Photoshop app, but it does all the, you know, splicing for you. It's really fun. But anyways, um, that's all I have to say. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, even though I know it's going to seem like I'm hating on the author's book, which I did not want you to think that, but I really had trouble with this one. Um, but yeah, tell me if you've read it and if you liked it or not, um, that's all I'm going to say. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a spooky night, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out, guys. Okay, here we go. This is the synopsis. Lula is done barking, and I should be able to read the synopsis. This is take three. <coughs> ah! <coughs> this is what I got to deal with. <coughs> I'm trying to record, and this little thing is barking. <coughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you.